Teresa Caputo. She falls among the likes of Tyler Henry, James Von Prach, uh, John Edwards and his crooked face. Um, a bunch of, you know, people who need to feel special. So they basically tell you that they can speak to the dead. But apparently the dead can never clearly speak back because they always, you know, just give them vowels or sounds. or uh, it's, It rhymes with an oh uh or eh uh or ah. I mean, it, it's that kind of shit. Teresa Caputo is a particularly heinous one because she looks like an extra from the fucking Sopranos. She's got, first of all, let's just talk about her, what she looks like because why not? She looks like your stereotypical Long Island housewife, you know? She's got, I don't know, she's she's got the fucking the gaudy makeup, you know, the nails that are done every, you should probably braid some poor Korean chick, you know? They're not done right. No, I wanted a French manicure. God, why do they even get these people around here? I swear to God, if they're going to come to our country and do our nails, they should at least speak the English. Am I right? I got that from the spirit. That wasn't me being racist at all. Uh, and uh, she's got this hair. How can I describe it? It's like she's hiding a massive tumor of lies in her head. And her hair is like trying to catch up. Her hair is like something out of 1988. It's like you would see like a teenage girl wearing it at a fucking, you know, Iron Maiden concert circa 1988. And... um it, it, she just bothers me on a multitude of levels. And people have asked me to do, you know, why have you never talked about Ter Teresa Caputo, the Long Island medium? The Long Island medium. Well, because she's full of fucking shit. I thought it was fairly obvious. Uh, and I never really watched any of her stuff. I didn't watch any of her readings. That's fine. It's just readings because she's not reading shit. The only thing she is reading is, you know, like uh, her divorce paper she got from her husband who finally got sick of her bullshit. That's another one. That Sopranos fucking knockoff. <laughs> he fucking got sick. Like, I can't take this fucking shit anymore with this bitch. I swear to God. I mean, I was going along with the hustle. She's getting her own show now. She's get, giving me enough fucking money. I'm taking the kids, all right? Because you're a fucking fraud. Now I'm leaving. I'm taking my dick elsewhere. I already was fucking 50 other bitches on the side, but you had to go fuck it up. Go. T hey, maybe you can have sex with none of them dead people you talk to. Huh? Maybe they'll give it to you real good. But she... I never watched any of her shit, and I didn't want to, but people have asked me about her. So I finally sat down last night, and I asked you guys what should... I hadn't had a video on JVTV2 here in a while. Like, what should a video I do? And overwhelmingly, I, I give you three options. You're like, Teresa Caputo, Teresa Caputo, Teresa Caputo. I'm like, okay, I get it. You hate me that much and want me to be irritated. I get it, because I'm inter entertaining, irritated. I don't know. Okay, so I watched some of her readings. I take it back from Char Margolis and Tyler Henry. She might be the worst at her fake, phony. She might be the worst con artist I've ever seen in my entire life. But the funny thing is, just some little side notes, is the news people who are trying to take her seriously, you know they never booked her. You know they didn't want her on the fucking show, but she's like the flavor of the minute or something with the fraudulent psychic club or something like that. So they sit there like, okay, who's, who's coming on today in some producers meeting? Teresa Caputo, fuck, and we have to keep a straight face the whole time, like this bitch really sees dead people, oh, for fuck's sake, I can't, why do you guys do this to me, this is why I, can I do the weather, can I do it while she's here, because I don't want to be out there, these two were trying to keep, I watched two clips from a show called Windy City Live, if you don't know what that is, it's some horrible talk show here in Chicago, it's on at like midday, which already means it's horrible, if it's a midday talk show, fun for spring, and uh, what kind of coffee do you drink, uh, a bunch of fucking awful benign subjects that nobody's interested in, what does your grandmother's pee smells like when she's got Alzheimer's, I don't know, let's do a segment on it and have some coffee while we're talking, uh, they've got these two reporters, you know, okay, we'll go with it, two good looking, a real good looking white guy, and a real good looking African American women, woman, and um, I have to say, these two in particular, look up Windy City Live, you don't believe me. They look like fucking mannequins. There's something fake about them. I think they're aliens. I don't know what it is, but they, each of them, the guy's got a sassy glow about him. The woman does too. They look like the most perfect human beings I've ever seen in my life. And I love the male anchor on there too, because, you know, he's all, he's a bro, but he's wearing the latest sassy, like, metrosexual gear. And, you know, he's got eyeliner on. I don't care what anybody says. And he is so Botoxed out of his fucking head right about now. I, th I mean, I think he even gets Botox on his balls. He's one of those narcissistic motherfuckers, you could tell. But they just, there's something about them where I'm like, if they, I keep worrying about them because if they turn those studio lights any hotter, they will fucking melt, both of them. If somebody just fucks it up by a degree, putting those lights on those two anchors, all of a sudden it's going to be like, so today we're going to talk about, you know, some really fun fall outfits. Oh, I'm melting. <laughs> They're not human. There's something wrong with those two. But, uh, so they had the uh, Long Island Psychic on there. I'm sorry, Long Island Medium. And she comes on there and they're like, so Teresa, and right away there she is, you know, I'm not saying she's on Xanax and a, a mix of Xanax and uppers. I'm not saying that at all. How dare you? Um, she's got some pills and <laughs> she's 
she's got a likable personality, but that doesn't distract me from the fact that you're a horrible liar who should burn in hell. That, that it's not going to distract me from that. I'm sorry, you're not going to get me that way. But she, they, first off, the reporters again. I feel bad for them. They're like, so um, wow, we have Teresa Caputo, the Long Island uh, medium here. You could almost see the eye roll they want to do. Like they have to purposely like focus. Don't eye roll. Don't eye roll. They'll fire us. Don't eye roll. Don't. We have to put up with this bullshit. And they're like, so um, wow. How do you do what you do? That's their first question to this woman. How do you do what you do? And she sits there and goes, you know what? That's a very interesting question. I get asked it all the time. I mean, you know, I didn't ask to be a psychic. I asked to be five foot two and a hundred pounds, but we don't always get what we want. Am I right? Ladies? Huh? Am I right? Oh, my career as a comedian is not going to work out here. I'll just pretend I see dead people. I need attention. My husband left me. Uh, so they're sitting there. Like, how does? How did you get? She goes, you know, it just comes to me. It just does. You know, every now and then I get spirits. And it's like, I start to feel like sometimes I feel a thing in my throat, you know, and it's not a cock because when I have a cock in my throat, you know, I, I, it's usually an Italian cock and they're pretty decent most of the times. And so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a uh, when I'm sucking a cock, you know, I'm, uh, but when it's kind of like, oh, what's that? You know, I'm realizing that someone is trying to tell me something. This is what she said. That is what she said. I swear to you, that's what she said. She's like, it's like someone hasn't finished saying goodbye. Obviously, that's what it means when you feel something here. No, it means you need a lozenge, you bitch. That's what it means. It means that, it means that you know, you either sucked too much dick the night before, that the semen that you drank, maybe she swallows, maybe it was a little irrit, you know, caused a little throat irritation. I'm not sure. I can't be positive. Um, or you need a fucking lozenge because you're coming down with something. That's what it means. It doesn't mean that someone who is dead is trying to tell you they didn't get to say goodbye. That makes no fucking sense. Why did people listen to this people? Oh, okay. So she proceeds to say that, and they're like, so, and they want to get rid of her right away. You could tell. Like, they don't ask her anything about her life. So they're like, so, your show, it's in its 15th season. What is it? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, Great. Good for you. Good job. Um, So, you want to do what you want to do and just leave us alone? Basically, they want her to go away and wander in the audience, and that is the best part. This is her reading. This is what I saw her do last night. I watched two readings, and I wanted to throw my phone at the wall. This is why I can't watch this shit, because it drives me crazy, and I can't sleep then, because I'm trying to wind down for the end of the day, and I'm just sitting there like, lying bitch, lying fucking fat ass bitch what the oh <laughs> so she does this number okay so i'm just gonna go out to the audience right now is that okay with everybody is that okay like they're gonna go no sit sit and have coffee and talk about benign subjects with us jesus christ don't ask such stupid questions Teresa Kabuto. wouldn't you known they were gonna say yes if you were psychic medium <laughs> so she goes she does this number and it was the worst fail I've seen in my life. You don't can't fuck with the Chicago audience. I'm telling you right now. They went, they see shootings. They ain't going to fuck with you. So she goes out there like, so right now I want to come over here to this section of the audience. And I want to say that someone has passed. I want to say someone that you know has passed. It was either a mother, a brother, a father, a sister, um, and somebody from sudden infant death, infant death syndrome. And obviously I think that would be a baby. I'm not sure. That's what they're telling me. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? None of it makes sense. None of it makes fucking sense that people are sitting there. Why are we not burning? her at the cross didn't we kill witches a long time ago like at least maybe they were real but she's sitting there like does that make sense to anybody and this one woman is looking at her like no and then she goes up to this woman she she's a glutton for punishment i guess she goes okay see you know that's what it is you guys that's what it is sometimes when i start talking to the spirits all the spirits start coming to me all at once and i get confused it's like all these spirits want to talk to me no that's called schizophrenia that's called mental illness and you need uh either shock treatment i don't know if that works anymore or heavy doses of medication for your bipolar disorder you are not talking to anybody that you are not as i've said before and i'll say it again how come the fucking spirits always speak English? Nobody's ever answered that to my satisfaction. I've actually had somebody argue with me on the Tyler Henry video once. Be like, well, it's actually a spirit language they translate into English. Stop making shit up. Just because I say, you know, this car is a uh, Ubidi Jew, which means it's better than all other Jeep Grand Cherokees. That doesn't mean it's true because I said it. It means I'm fucking crazy. That's what it means. Ooh. Ooh. So, <laughs> I'm going to do that a lot. Just, ooh. My na the name of the video should be Ooh. So, um, she, that's her excuse for not being able to read this bitch right here. She goes, so you have someone that passed, right? Passed. Cause I'm seeing the legs. I'm seeing the legs. I'm seeing that they walked once or maybe they didn't walk and that was why they passed. Or maybe they walked into oncoming traffic. That's what I'm seeing right now. Am I, am I correct? Are you identifying with that? Are you identifying with she's shaking the head? No fucking bitch. I'm going to have you whacked later. Don't fuck with me. Don't fuck. Uh, uh, is the camera still on? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Long Island humor there. <laughs> So the one woman's like, no. And she goes, so I'm seeing someone did pass for you though, right? Someone passed. You've had somebody in your life, you're what, 55, 60? I think you've known at least one person that's died. No, no, her friends are vampires. They're all immortal, you idiot bitch. So <laughs> she, the woman's like, 
Well, yeah. And she's like, and I'm seeing it's something to do with the legs. And they didn't get to say goodbye because they're in the hospital bed. They're showing me their legs. And then, they're, okay, it's got to be a guy because she's showing me his penis. It's very wrinkly. It curves slightly to the left. He used to molest you, right? Am I connecting? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So this woman's like, no. She immediately sees some other woman who's kind of sitting there tearing up. Right away, woman. As soon as you tear up, fly to shit. She's going to go right to you. And this woman is already kind of sitting up there. And she's like, okay, I'm a, yeah, bitch, you're lying. And I'm connecting with you right now. Somebody passed. You didn't get to say goodbye. Am I right? Am I right? You didn't get to say goodbye. She wants you to know it's a she. He, she, right? Transgender? I don't know. They wanted you to know that they were, that you were at their bedside. This woman's obviously 60. This woman that she's talking to. So I can automatically assume that the person that died that she's talking about when she's, oh, by the way, she said, well, and this person is connected to you. They're related. Yes, it was my mother. Okay, she's 60. Her mother passed. Her mother's 100. She obviously was bedridden. It's not that hard to figure it out. I mean, I mean her, her mom's about 100 years old. She's not running around the block. She was she was doing a triathlon. She just collapsed. No, no. She was sitting there shitting in her diaper. And she fucking just peaced out and said, thank God I'm done with this world. And she goes, she wanted you to know. And this is why these people are the worst. They fuck with people's grief. And I hate that. And you don't think clearly. Trust me, I know when you come out of grief. When something especially sudden happens. And she goes like this. She goes, she wanted you to know. That she knew you were stroking her hair. She knew that you uh, were taking care of her, looking after her every minute. She knew, and she wants you to move on with your life. And she wants to know where is the rest of the money? Where is it so you can give it to that lovely... I'm, I hear her coming in right now. You guys hear her? Shut the lights off real fast. Give Teresa Caputo all your money. Honey, please. This is the last thing I wanted. Oh, my God. One of the spirits. You heard it, right? You did. I'm not crazy. Don't drag me out of here, please. And she's like... But really, she goes back. She's like, you know, so they want you to know you did okay. You did okay. You're doing great. She wants you to let go. Can you do that for me, honey, sweetie, baby doll? Can you do that for me? So then she moves on to this black chick. And this black chick is not going to give her much information, but she gave her a little too much. She's like, so I'm sensing that you've lost somebody. Like, I think it's a father. Oh, my, a lot of black people don't know their dads. That's right. Oh, shit. I got to rethink you. Oh, it's a mo mother. It's a mother figure who used to give you what you call one of them whoopings with a, a, a birch twig, right? And she liked hip hop. Is that true? Right? Yeah. And she, she was sassy, kind of sassy. Like, hey, don't put up with that stuff for me. I'm not going to take any of that. She was like one of those, right? She wasn't like a touchy feely, like give you a timeout kind of mom. Am I right? God, it's just all these spirits are telling me all this shit. And she, so the woman's just like, well, yeah, I had somebody pass. She's like, so it was your mother, father. The woman is not giving up. She's like, uh-huh. I love this woman already. I love her. She's like, uh-huh. Like, she's like, and you could just see her thought bubbles. Like, this bitch better not play with me. She better not play with me. I did not come here to come. I came here to fucking forget my kids right now. I came here to sit here and listen to these two mannequins talk about some bullshit. I'm just zoning out. I don't want this bitch picking on me. Fuck you, hoe. And she goes, uh, so this person that passed, it's almost like you weren't even supposed to be here today. Does that make sense? Mm hmm She should be the counterpoint to everything. They should have her debate Tyler Henry like, you know, I do. I see um, dead people. And I'm also medical intuitive. They can see things. And um, I'm seeing you had a headache once. Is that true, black woman? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all. Mm-hmm. And you think I'm real, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> But she did this over and over. But nine times out of ten, there was crickets from the audience with Teresa Caputo. They couldn't identify. And when other fucking frauds are coming out, I've, one of them is like Chris Angel, who does magic tricks, but his magic tricks are a bunch of horrible bullshit. And um, he, you know, he's faked a bunch of his magic tricks. Like he's had it like paid for an audience to be there. He's another one. He offered her one fraud to another. At least he's not ripping off dead people and all that shit and exploiting grief. A million dollars to prove her ability. You would think she would take it. Be like, fine. You know what? I'll take it because I see dead people. I talk to them. As a matter of fact, I'm such a good person because she's doing it because she's a good person. You know, they all, they all are. They're blessed people. Um, she goes... You know, she could have taken that million dollars and donated it to some kind of charity. I mean, obviously a good person would do that. No, she's a horrible, horrible person who is going to burn in hell for what she's doing. And I can't wait till it happens personally. That's the only person I ever wish to burn in hell is people like Teresa Caputo who are, uh, you know, grief vampires who are taking money from people and know they can't see shit. Again, it's a fucking wheel of fortune game. So the second reading I saw was from the same show. I guess they'd let her back on or she was there before or whatever. She was wearing a red dress this time to let people know that she's wants to be in contact with the devil. And she gets up there and does the same shit. Okay, I'm getting a, a, a female energy that passed over here, right? I'm getting that. I'm also getting my nails done later in that fucking Yu Chow Chung Ming bitch. She better not fuck them up. That's what I'm saying. Am I right? Oh, I'm not talking to my girlfriends in Long Island. All right, fuck it. Um, yeah, I'm getting a female energy. She passed because she... 
she died. She didn't just pass you by on like the street driving a fucking car like she passed. Does that anybody connect with that? You do? Okay. She had brown hair. No, it was blonde, right? That's why there's all these spirits talking to me right now. I can't later, honey. Anyway, who who shook the head when I said brown hair? Oh, you did. Okay, great. Um, she had that normal. Why do they never say anything interesting, these spirits? There's never been one spirit that has crossed over where any, and show me if they have, any medium has suddenly been reading somebody and been like, okay, I connected with a spirit from you. This was your son who died suddenly. You molested him. Oh my God. Somebody call the fucking police. It's nothing like that has ever happened. Like your mother said you set that fire. You killed her. Murderer. Holy fucking shit. Somebody do something. Love it. They're all good spirits. You just want to wish you well. We love you. We know you tried your hardest. It's a bunch of crap. What the? They have never said anything like, okay, your sister's coming through. She wants to say that she hate, always hated your brother and knew he was half a fag growing up, okay? Does that make sense? It does. Okay, great. She said that your other sister's a fucking bitch. Just ignore her. She never liked her. She actually tried to abort her while she was in her stomach. She did. She threw herself down a flight of stairs. She's never said it till now, but now she's dead. She doesn't care anymore. She loves you the best. She hopes you get all the money. The rest are a bunch of vampire little children she wish she never had. They were semen spills. That's what she's calling them in my head right now, semen spills. Nothing, nothing ever. I think the spirits even have some negative things to say once in a while. Like, hey, you know, by the way, that your best friend that's with you, she never liked the bitch. No, and she knows you stole her diamond brooch that one time, sweetheart. Yeah, that one time you were pretending to sleep over just to play some Sega games and talk about boys. She knows what you did. She's going to come back in another life and kick your fucking ass. Okay, how about that? How about that? Yeah, she knows. Okay, well, she's not stupid. She's telling... I got it. Phyllis, I got it. I got her over here, okay? Please. Fuck it. They never say anything interesting and they can't even say their own fucking names. That never get, nobody ever seems to be bothered by that. Her name was Mary. Her name was Phyllis. Her name was, you know, they don't even try black people, do they? Or fucking like, you know, Indians. They don't, they don't try at all. Like Muslims, they don't even try. Her name was Shawala Gala Bing Bang, right? Uh, her name was, uh, right? That's what it was. They don't even try. They go, it starts with a, 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 I like to buy a vowel. Can I get an E? I don't have enough money. Okay. That's the shit they do. This bitch is the worst psychic medium, and they're all frauds, but the worst, she's the most fraudulent and the worst at it. Like, she's not even entertaining. The well, only thing entertaining is watching the audience sit there and go, why is, no, I don't know who, why is she here? Like, go away, sweetheart, go away. But also, and the last thing I want to say is about the YouTube comments that are underneath these videos. This is how these people survive with these delusional, stupid people that believe them. I, the first comment I saw underneath was, all you people who are saying Teresa Caputo is not real. I'll have you know my grandmother is a medium, so they're real. Well, fuck me. Your crazy fucking, you know, dementia-ridden grandmother who pretends she sees Abraham Lincoln is fucking, says she's a medium, so we should, well, I'm wrong. <laughs> you proved it. You're dummy. And I told the woman, I think I, I, I answered, her. I'm like, no, that just, you're an idiot. You are a fucking idiot, and you should be on the island with everybody else who's a fucking idiot. You should all be put there and just die off. We shouldn't even feed you. We need the idiots to starve and die, so we're going to have to deal with more idiot people because they breed idiot children. And these are the people that believe this shit. I believe that some of these mediums, oh, there's another comment, legitimately, under that YouTube reading I saw of hers, are um, real, but yeah, Teresa seems fake. Prove they're real. No one has ever proven it. And one cited some fake study in Arizona, like, well, there was a study in the University of Tempe, Arizona, where they found out 80% of these mediums were telling the truth. Lie. Prove it. Cite your source. Show me the article. Liar. Lie. You're a liar. Stop it. No, they didn't. They never did. They never did. Because these psychics would be holding up like, see? See? Ha <laughs> ha. Arizona study says I'm right. Bullshit. They've never proven it. They have never proven it because they couldn't prove it because it's bullshit. Okay, my head's hurting now. So, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe a spirit's coming through. Ooh, I need Advil. Is his name Advil? Yeah, that's what I need right now. I gotta go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs>